Okay, so this is part two of the dash cam install. So in the last video, I got the camera installed and working. Um, in this one, I'm gonna hook this up. So this is the, uh, this plugs into your diagnostic port and then it runs up to the camera. Mine takes USB-C. They make these in all sorts um, so you can find out what works for your camera. Um, so this switch right here controls. Um, so you got in the O, that'll keep it in accessory mode so it'll shut down after 20 minutes of your car being shut off. And then if you have it on the line, that means it'll be in parking mode, which is what I'm gonna keep it on. Um, and it has a low voltage protection. So uh, if someone hits you, then your car, your uh, camera will record it and will capture all that. Um, so I'm gonna keep it on that one for that reason. So I'm gonna show you how to install this now. Okay, so we're gonna plug it in right here, which on this F-150 is right underneath the steering wheel. Uh, we're gonna run it behind this panel, up behind here, up the A pillar, underneath the headliner, and then into the camera, which I already took out the old uh, plug I had in there just temporarily. Um, so I'm gonna start running this cord now, and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I got it plugged in, um, and then I started running it up here, and then I sent it behind the dash, and then it comes out there, and then it starts going up the A pillar. And actually my truck has these little clips here too for uh, some sort of wiring harness my truck wasn't equipped with. Um, maybe for certain other models there's something there, but you might have those open spots and it works perfect for holding the wire. Um, I'm gonna install probably a few zip ties to just clean it up down here. Um, so all I had to do, this right here just clips in with all these so you can stick your fingers behind there and pull it back. Um, this panel right here, same thing, uh, just like a little trim tool you can get behind that and pull that back. And then the A pillar, there's just two 10 millimeters you gotta take out with a handle. And then uh, the wire for your tweeter speaker, that comes out. So next, I'm gonna pull the sun visor down um, to get that out. There's a, a seven mil behind that. And then behind this cover, I might be able to pull it off like that. There's another seven mil right there. Um, so take those two out, then you can lower this corner of your headliner and then run it underneath and uh, have your cord come out right there. Okay, so it's all installed now. Uh, I got everything back together and I got it plugged in right there and I have it in the parking mode right now and it is recording. Um, so if I were to switch it over to the other mode, then it'll shut down and it just shut off. And then if I switch it back to parking mode, it'll turn on on its own and start recording. I did relocate the rear camera up towards the top of the glass because being down low, it uh, didn't capture much with the bed being in the way. So here's a little bit of nighttime footage I got. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out, even with a little bit of rain and ice on the windshield. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with this kit. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.